claws has some fins here. That's a tongue twister. Um, okay, so hi guys. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about rabbits. So I have here Cleo, who is a uh, dwarf, a dwarf, a dwarf hot tot, hot tot. Uh, she's a dwarf rabbit. And she is my second rabbit. I also have one whose name is Thumper. And I don't know what breed he is because I've had him for probably nine years. And um, he, I just got him from the pet store. Um, I actually got her from a breeder, a local breeder. And um, she's actually not even, see her birthday. She's gonna be a full year pretty soon. Um, so she's still pretty young, but um, the breeder that I got her from, her breed specific um, qualities, I guess, that they need for to be a show rabbit would be um, for her breed that they have the black and white, the black eye, the black around her eye. They have to have that and their ears have to be, I think it's three inches, so hers are too long. And they also can't have any black on their ears or any part of their body. And she actually has these little spots on her back. Um, and she also, her breed, if you were to show them, cannot have blue eyes. And she has one. So, she is a show bunny reject, <laughs> as I like to say. But that doesn't mean that she does not make a great pet. She is a great rabbit. And I let her come with me to the pet store and I put her in her little carrier and people love it and she loves it and she sits on my lap all the time and she loves to hop around and um, she's honestly she's a great rabbit. So this is Cleo and um, today I want to talk about rabbits in general, how to care for them, what you need for them, if you wanted to get one, what you need to think about. So. Um, the first things first is you're going to need a rabbit cage. So there's a lot of misconceptions about how big a rabbit cage needs to be. And um, there's a lot of really small rabbit cages that they sell in the local pet stores. And I just think that they're just, they're not fair to the animal. Um, if you are going to get a rabbit, I would err on the side of too big rather than too small for their cage because if you think about it, that's their house, um, that's all their space, that's what they need to live um, happy and healthy lives. My Thumper, my other rabbit, is bigger than her. She's a dwarf so she won't get too much bigger and um, he has a bigger cage than her and that's okay because she's going to be smaller, she doesn't need as much space. But um, also when you're thinking about cages is you need to think about if you want to take them outside. So to live outside, I would not recommend it. I know there's hair flying everywhere. <laughs> I know that there's people that do it successfully and have no problems, but just be careful because there's more contaminants, I guess. Well, there's definitely more viruses and diseases outside that they can catch. Um, if you don't have a secure enough hutch, something could get in there and get them. Um, they're more likely to get too cold or too hot if it's where, depending on where you live. Um, so you just really, it's easier and better for them, I guess, to keep them inside as their normal habitat. But if you want to take them outside, um, just as like a treat to like just let them run around. Um, what I did is I bought PVC pipe and I made a huge, I probably should measure it, I don't know, it's huge. I made this huge um, pen for them outside and took PVC pipe and I made a big square with the pipe and I doubled it up. I'll take a picture of it. But I put chicken wire on the outside. So, and then it's super cheap, like it's not that expensive and I got zip ties and I zip tied that to the PVC pipe. So I would not leave them alone because it could get too hot, it could get too cold, something could come in and get them. I mean, she's a white rabbit. She's gonna be very visible to any birds or anything. Um, so you wanna just be really careful. 
and if they ever get excited and decide that they want to jump out, uh, that's going to be another thing. So make sure it's tall enough if you're going to build your own. Um, or if it has a lid, that would be ideal. But um, so anyway, so you can take them outside to eat grass and just hop around if you want. Just don't take them out when it's too hot or too cold and watch them. So, when you're talking about their normal cage inside, um, I'm just going to go through the basics. So you're going to want to get a water bottle, and this is the one that I have for her. Um, it goes on, I just spilled water all over my foot. It goes on the side of the cage, and why is it leaking? I have no idea. It normally does not do that. Anyway, um, it goes on the side of the cage and it hooks on the edge and it sticks through so she can drink through it and that's that seems to work for me um some have different ends on them some have like this this one has a ball some have different ones uh some rabbits don't like specific ones so just watch and make sure your rabbit's getting plenty of water when you first get it um secondly i want to talk about food a good diet for them is to have their pellet food you want to have a healthy, I don't know which brand this is because I put it in a bag, but this is what she eats. Um, I don't know what it's called, but it's got, um, since she's young, I just got her off of the um, juvenile rabbit food and now she's on a pretty bland adult rabbit food. So it's got, I'll pull it out, it's got these pellets and then um, it's got these little sticks in there that they can eat um, as like something a little extra than the pellet. So with the food, um, what you want to do is you want to give them uh, a cut like a cup of that food every day and allow them, I mean if they eat it right away that's fine. Um, if they take all day to eat it then just give them a little less next time. But start with a cup um, but also offer them hay all the time. Like as much hay as they want, they can have it. It's really good for, the, for their digestive system. It gets everything moving the way it needs to be. Um, it's just really good for them. So you can use Timothy alfalfa. Uh, the alfalfa is going to be a little more um, nutrient rich and um, has a little more to it than the Timothy. So it's going to be a little more expensive. So I like to kind of... Um, intermix the timothy and the alfalfa this is uh this oxbow stacks timothy and i just started to use this um it comes in like this wheel of hay and you basically just break it up apart and put it in the cage you can open it or spread it or you can leave it as a little chunk um she doesn't really eat it as a chunk and neither does thumper so some of yours might, I don't know, they're all super picky, but um, but they love to eat hay. And another thing about their food is treats. So you don't want to give them too many treats because like any other animal, whew, like any other animal, it's not good for them to have too many sweets. Um, sweets. So a really good thing that I found are these Slims with alfalfa and she loves them but it's just alfalfa so it's basically like she's eating hay but she absolutely loves them um i don't know if she'll eat one now nope she will so they love these sticks um thumper doesn't thumper doesn't seem to like he's older so i don't think he likes to chew as much um so he likes the normal broken up hay that you get in the bag and that's fine too so, um, as far as feeding them treats, um, if your rabbit seems to get bored, you can make DIY toys uh, to like put, like with this one, like I made it out of popsicle sticks um, and I just put hay in it and she can eat the hay out of it and it takes her a little longer to eat the hay, keeps her entertained, um, you know, it's good for their mental stimulation and all that. <laughs> so um, that's food so bedding a lot of people use um, wood shavings and that's fine um, 
I've just found that it's a little bit more dusty, um, makes kind of more of a mess. Uh, some people I've heard that it's not good for the respiratory system to have that dust in there with them. So as a side of caution, I use the paper bedding and what I do is I get this brand and um, it's odor concealing, which is nice, but um, it's a little bit cheaper than the KT bedding, but I love the way the KT bedding smells because you can get lavender, you can get, I think there's like a birthday cake one, um, you can get all these different scents. And so I do like a base of the cheaper one and then I sprinkle on top with the smelling, the good smelling one. So that's what I do with the bedding. Um, so as far as your rabbit your itself, there are a lot of different breeds. Um, I wouldn't get too breed specific. You can get whatever kind of breed that makes you happy, excited, whatever. Um, just know that they all have their own individuality. Some are bigger than others. Um, my camera just shut off. Um, anyway, just know that they do live for a fair amount of time. I think it's up to 15 years, 20 years. Uh, Thumper, I've had for at least, I want to say seven, eight, nine years. I don't even remember because I was little. But um, they do live a while. So you really, if you're going to get a rabbit, you need to be aware that um, it is a commitment. They do want your attention, they do want your love. Um, so and it's very important to have that bond with your animal and just know that they will live a while. So if you guys have any questions about rabbits, um, any other animals, any suggestions, comments, concerns, put them in the comments below and I'll try to do my best to get to them. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs>